5-4, Mary Baldwin leads here in the second set on Haynes Gymnasium, senior night of his Greensboro College Pride, honoring two seniors. Sonia Green, technically a sophomore, but obviously because of some COVID things, she'll be graduating with this class, the other one, Kaylee Freed. Good matchup we have going on in set one of match number two. 5-4 to the score. Mary Baldwin ahead for the first time since well, all both matches, and they just extend that lead now, 6-4. Jay McGrath just depositing that one right over the net. Let's open up a two-point advantage here for the Fighting Squirrels. Statistically pretty even on both sides. Doing a much better job protecting it this time, though, the Fighting Squirrels. This one dumped over. A strong kill right into the mouth of Barrett Davis, who dove but couldn't do much about it. That's why they call it a kill. That hit Davis square in the nose right off the bounce. Seven for your lead, and Casey Joe Harris is in as the libero for Greensboro. A little tip set up. Mary Baldwin the other way, straight down. Megan Andrews has had herself a nice match at the net, and that has been a big difference from match one to match two. Right now, Mary Baldwin doubling up. Greensboro eight to four here in set number two. And this is a small lineup for Greensboro. They're using other assets that they didn't use in the first match. I think it's just Coach Troop seeing where his players are at at this point in the season. Stout comes down with power. To end that run for Mary Baldwin. Eight to five the score. And Haley Stout soaring back into the scoring books there. The first kill of the afternoon. If there was anybody needed to step up to get some momentum going on to Dreamsburg College, it would be Haley Stout. She played enormously in the first match. And here she is now as it's two straight for Greensboro. Service error. Service ace, I should say from the libero, Casey Joe Harris. We didn't see in that first match, 18 service aces for her last season. Playing in just her second conference game here, and another one, back to back, and she is fired up. The sophomore from Shelby, North Carolina, picking up back to back service aces and getting their deficit down to just one. The substitution comes in. And Mary Baldwin. Harris serves a little bit further back than the rest of the Dreamsboro College players, and I think that's getting in the head of Mary Baldwin. How do they respond? Andrews continues what she has been doing here in this match and breaks it was an impressive streak that time from Casey Joe Harris and gets possession back in the hands of the Fighting Squirrels. And now one of the other leaders, Madison Cash, will be serving, and she's also nothing to take lightly. Mary Baldwin doing a much better job at the net. This one dumped over, good recovery. And now free ball sent over. Stout. Good stop from Christian. Another free ball. Chance for the pride to set up. Good defense on the back end from Mary Baldwin here in this rally, but the shot in the end goes awry. And Greensboro picks up the point. Nice little rub between both teams, and I think that's something Greensboro needed to get going. They found a flow. They needed something to start feeling like they were themselves. They trail by one. Young Thunder's coming in to serve. She's played amazing when serving today, and if there's anybody to get them the lead, Young Thunder's the option. A lot of big hitters out there for Greensboro right now, but you don't really need them if you have Haley Stout out. Kill attempt going right into the netting. They've had a nice run here over the last couple of points with Casey Joe Harris, the libero out there. And that's a name we didn't say. She wasn't there in the first match. A couple of these players coming out, and it just shows how deep this Greensboro College team is. Good dig on the deep end. That one well wide from Haley Stout, missing the mark. And Baldwin picks up another point, 10-9. Another name that just come in for the first time in this match, Natalie Rosinski. We didn't see her in that opening set. 
Minsky just one kill in that last match, but second on the team in blocks. She's a senior, but she'll use her COVID waiver to come back next season. And there Baldwin leaves this one. There's Young Thunder, nice job to set up her teammate. How did that one not hit the deck? No, it did. No immediate call from the line judge that was right there. Looked like that one pretty clearly hit the other side from Haley Stout. It was very clear, and then whenever the whistle wasn't immediately blown, you, Stout did a double take, and it was like, that's the second time that that's happened, this time called correctly. Now well, Stout's turn to get the offense going from the service. Christian leaves it out. Young Thunder, nice save. On the other side, Kerr. Barrow right there to recover. Young Thunder sets up and dunked over. Oh, Rosinski barely had to jump because it was a picture-perfect setup from Jasmine Young Thunder. And now Greensboro's jumped back up ahead. They trailed 5-1 to one at one point in the set. It's now 11-10. They lead. It's good for Greensboro. They're, they're playing big. When they get the big players out there, the big defenders kink the blocks, they get more points. And Stout was off the mark, but this one is just barely grazed by Sidney Clark in the back right corner. And it's a service ace for Haley Stout. We'll try her luck again. Ten service aces coming into this match for Stout. She's got two now. Rejected at the net, but over. And Kerr didn't quite send that one back. 12-11, Greensboro leads. Mary Baldwin cannot let this one fall away from them. They have had great rotation. They've had great ball control. They've had great communication. They led this early. They're trailing by one now, but they can come back here trailing by one. Mary Baldwin coming into this one. 0-11 on this season. As Rosinski is off the mark. Tied up at 12 apiece. Mary Baldwin has not taken a set from an opponent since their second game against Pfeiffer. That was the second game of the season. That one, they trailed two sets to nothing, stormed all the way back, but dropped the fifth set, 15-12. Kerr goes off the netting. Mary Baldwin, chance to set up. Nice diving stop from Joe Harris. Now sent over and just wide from Haley Stout, who's been off the mark a little bit here from that back position. Mary Baldwin back up ahead, 13-12. Mary Baldwin had some beautiful ball placements on that. They, they hit the gap three separate times on their kills, but great defense by Greensboro just can't sit up the kill. An extended run from Joe Harris is the libero. This one finds a way to trickle in from Sanaya Green, who has just been absolutely dominating in that outside hitter spot. She is living up to the senior night hype. She is showing off, she's showing up, and she's going to make sure her Greensboro College team stays in this one. Now Greensboro not running with a libero as Joe Harris sits on the service. Young Thunder kept it up, but there was no one there. A strong service that time from Mary Baldwin. Jade McGrath has really been good from that service spot all day today. That's what, that's what they've been doing all day this set. They've been hitting it hard and at Greensboro College players, as we just saw there. They're just targeting them, and they're being methodical, and they got the lead by two. And now a timeout from the Greensboro side, as things have gotten a little sloppy here for Coach Troop's side. They trail by two, 15-13 here in the second set. All right, Baldwin trying to even this one up at one on the Pride Sports Network. <laughs> 